Hi, fourth grade. Welcome to our book talk today. I'm Miss Bryce, and I want to share three books with you that I read recently and really enjoyed because I think you might like them too. Our first book is called Save Me a Seat, and it has two authors. It was written by Sarah Weeks and Gita Varadarajan. Our second book is called Manu, and it was written and illustrated by Kelly Fernandez. Our third book is called The Whispering Town. It was written by Jennifer Elfgren and illustrated by Fabio Santamara. All right, let's take a look. Our first book is Save Me a Seat, written by Sarah Weeks and Gita Varadarajan. This is a realistic fiction novel that is 216 pages long. It takes place over the course of the first week of school, and it's told in alternating chapters from the perspective of two different boys in fifth grade. Ravi just moved to America from India, and he's facing a bit of a culture shock due to how different some things are here. Joe has a learning difference called auditory processing disorder, which personally I thought was really cool because I actually have that too. He's feeling pretty lonely because his two best friends moved away over the summer. Ravi and Joe are in the same class and neither one of them thinks that they'll have anything in common. Ravi notices the cool kid in the class right away, Dylan Samreen, and he thinks they'll be good friends because Dylan is Indian too. However, Dylan starts picking on Ravi, and Joe isn't surprised because Dylan picks on Joe too. Small acts of kindness lead Ravi and Joe to realize they might have more in common than they thought because they have a mutual enemy in Dylan Samreen and they decide to do something about it. Are they able to stand up against the class bully? You'll have to read the book to find out. Our second book is Manu, written and illustrated by Kelly Fernandez. This is a fantasy in graphic novel format, and it's 175 pages long. This book is written mostly in English with some Spanish words and phrases mixed in. Manu attends a magical school for girls where they learn how to develop their abilities. Manu is clearly the strongest witchling in the whole school, but she has a very hard time being calm and serious. One day, Manu performs a magic spell in class that gets out of control, and everyone is angry and upset with her, including her best friend Josefina, who in anger wishes for Manu's magic abilities to disappear. And then shortly thereafter, they do. With Josefina's help, Manu tries to get her powers back by summoning a demon to help her. But the powers from the demon are too strong and end up causing even more problems. So Manu summons him again and begs him to take the powers back. Instead, he possesses her and turns her into a demon who goes on a rampage and opens a portal to the underworld, releasing even more demons. Only the kindness and love from her best friend, Josefina, are able to save her. But the demons are still raging in the town and only Manu is strong enough to combat them. Is Manu able to close the portal to the underworld and banish the demons for good? You'll have to read the book to find out. Our third book is called The Whispering Town. It was written by Jennifer Elfgren and illustrated by Fabio Santamaro. This is a picture book that's historical fiction and it's 32 pages long. This book is based on events that really happened. It's set in Nazi occupied Denmark in 1943. A family with a young girl, Annette, are hiding two Jewish people from the Nazis in their cellar, a young boy named Carl and his mother. Annette goes through the town to gather more provisions since they have guests like bread, eggs, and library books. At each stop, she whispers to the adults that they have new friends and the adults all know what that means. On her way home, she sees Nazis checking her neighbor's houses. Annette takes Carl and his mother food and the books while they wait to travel across the water hidden in a boat to Sweden. However, each night is cloudy and there is no moonlight to help guide them on their way to the harbor. As Annette climbs down the stairs into the dark cellar, she, the, the whispers from her new friends help guide her way and it gives her an idea. She suggests that that night 
If it's still cloudy, all the neighbors can stand in their doorways and use their whispers to guide the way of their new friends to the harbor. Does Annette's plan work? Are Carl and his mother able to make it safely to the harbor? You guessed it. You'll have to read the book to find out. I hope you enjoyed our book talk today. I loved each of these books and their emphasis on kindness and helping others. I hope you'll enjoy them too. Thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget to visit the library to check out these books and many others. Thanks so much. Bye.